The moment you stop to start accepting money, that's your restful offense. That's it. Okay? So if, if, it's, if I take money? Yes, right. You okay, take, well, I haven't taken money up until this point. That's what but I'm But I'm going to start. What's that? I'll start right now. If somebody comes up and offers me money, I'll make sure and I'll do it right in front of you. And I dare you to arrest me for it. I will. Welcome back to We the People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by the YouTube channel, Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations. If you have not subscribed to his channel, I'm telling you right now, you definitely want to go and subscribe. In this video, I have nothing to say. I just want to share this video because we're about to take a look at two next level audits. Again, if you have not subscribed to Honor Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations, I'm telling you now, go subscribe. These are two of the best audits I've seen. Not only are they funny, but this citizen stands on his rights and he refuses to let his rights be violated. He dares the police to arrest him. He even sends an email over to the city of Daytona's attorney stating, hey, this is what I'm doing. What you stated is unconstitutional and I dare you to arrest me. I give both of these audits two thumbs up. Let's check this out. Hey, County Sheriff Shannon. Hey, I've got a guy out there taking pictures of uh, some people have been complaining about it. Yeah, he's in front of the flag post right now. I'm taking pictures. Is he a white, black, or Hispanic male? White male, um, khaki color, white khaki color shorts, blue t shirt, black camera. All right, we will send someone over that way. 332, 1065, or 13 feet. It's in reference to a male taking pictures, advisedly a white male wearing khaki pants, and he's got a camera. Uh, no, thanks. Huh? No, thank you. I'm good. Okay. I just wanted to check and make sure you didn't need any help. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Just getting some video and some photos. Huh? Just getting some video and some photos. That's all. Okay. How you doing? You need some help? No, thanks. What you doing out here? What you doing out here? Filming you. Uh, why are you guys acting like you're doing something wrong? What? Why are you acting so suspicious? I'm not. Every time we see somebody out here filming the fence line, we just like to come out and say, how you doing? Yeah. Why are you filming the fence line? Yeah. Just curious. You're curious? Yeah. Do you have some ID? I do, yeah. So it's right here in my pocket. I get it too? Yep. All right. Let's see. Here's my eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that is awesome. Officer Bailey. Really, do we have a driver's license? Or I do. Some type of issued ID card? I do, yeah. Anytime I talk to somebody, I like to get That's right that. here. That's right here. I like to get that ID. 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 Let's see. I have it right. Right there. Can I see it? No. Not unless you have reasonable articulable suspicion that a crime is afoot. Well, you're acting suspicious outside the fence line and... Granted, this is our property too. Yeah. Also, the water tower, the parking lot. Yeah, everything on this side of the fence. Okay. <laughs> I, I kind of followed you down to the other place. You did a did a illegal uh, pulling out. You're in the wrong lane as you went down the road. I got it on dash cam. That's awesome. So that's great. You guys, I mean, you're acting really suspicious. You guys aren't doing anything wrong with the inmates, are you? Why would you think that JSO is acting suspicious? Because you guys are acting, you're hiding the inmates when I start filming them. You got, you come out here, you start chasing me around and stuff. Okay, you're filming female inmates. That's you? right, yeah. It's perfectly lawful. Is there, is, there, is there a crime? All I'm asking is for your name. I've told you my name. Well, I'll tell you my name is Jeff, but yeah. uh, I'm not going to give you my... your full name. No. I see your ID card. No. No? No, oh, sorry. Not no. All right. If I could see your driver's license first, that'd be great. Let me see. Where do you are live? You, uh, Can I get your home address? Are you a sovereign citizen? Are you a sovereign citizen? Wow. We're just going to play this whole back and forth. Are we just going to play this whole back and forth game? Can I get, let me get your home address and I'll give you my driver's license. Okay, something like that. Jeff, I already got you. All right. <laughs> I'll go ahead and run that and I'll be back. All right. If you're still here. All right. Why you got a thin blue line sticker on your thing, Jeff? I just like to fuck with you guys. Why? Yeah, just fucking with you. Why would you? Because you're you fun to fuck with. That's what you guys do to other people. You with people, so I just like to fuck with you. Strange, Jeff. Yeah. Really yeah. Okay. It's fun, though. It's fun. It's fun for you? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun for you guys. And yeah, where are you from? You make a living. I'm from the 70s. From the 70s? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a child of the 70s also. All right, cool. Don't before that. All right. All right, man. This is an email that I sent to Daytona Beach City Attorney Robert Jagger. 
Greetings. This message is addressed to Daytona Beach City Attorney Robert Jagger, Mayor Henry Derrick, Police Chief Jakari Young, and all members of the City Council. Below I have attached a link of me knowingly, willfully, and intentionally panhandling within the city limits of Daytona Beach, Florida. The Daytona Beach, Florida panhandling ordinance is unconstitutional, and I dare you to arrest me for panhandling. Sincerely, Jeffrey Marcus Gray, on your oath, Civil Rights Investigations. How you doing? I'm all right. All right. So we got a complaint, okay, about you out here holding signs in front of the business. Yes, sir. Okay, and still Daytona Beach, you cannot panhandle. So I'm not sure if you're actually accepting it or not, accepting money from anyone or not, or you're just saying God bless the homeless. If you're just holding up the sign saying God bless the homeless, that's fine. But the moment you stop start accepting money, that's a restful offense. That's right. Okay? So if, if, it's, if I take money? Yes, right. Okay, take, well, I haven't taken money up until this point. That's what I'm... But I'm, I'm going to start. What's that? I'll start right now. If somebody comes up and offers me money, I'll make sure and I'll do it right in front of you, and I dare you to arrest me for it. I will. I dare you. I will. What's your name and badge on Officer Raymond. Is your body camera going? It was not. Anybody's body camera's going? I dare you to arrest me. Next okay. person that comes along, offers me money. We'll be back. I'll take it right in front of you. No, cool. stay here and watch. We'll so, you, so you can witness it. Okay. Make sure you witness it. And okay. I dare you guys to arrest me. Okay. Double dog dare you. Hello, everyone. God bless the homeless veterans. I'm officially panhandling. Right here, right now on this street corner. International Speedway. I am panhandling. I am panhandling. There's a law enforcement officer right there. I am here to panhandle right now. Usually I just come out and say, God bless the homeless veterans. But since I get accused of panhandling so often and told that I will be arrested for panhandling, I'm gonna panhandle right in front of this law enforcement officer. I'm gonna take a donation right in front of this law enforcement officer. Hey, thank you. Thank you. There we go. You see that? I just panhandled. Are you a witness? Oh, she just gave me something. I just panhandled. The Southern Poverty Law Center, Montgomery, Alabama. Alabama's panhandling laws violate the First Amendment's protection of free speech. A federal judge ruled Wednesday in a lawsuit brought against the state by the Southern Poverty Law Center. ACLU of Alabama and the National Homelessness Law Center. Point being, how can anyone tell me what I can and can't say? Even if I say, hey, do you have spare change? That's freedom of speech. Somebody go ahead and lock me up for it. Right here. You know what? Actually, I did take some money earlier. I did take some money earlier. No, he's doing that. No, no, he's doing that. I'm sorry. We were talking. Yeah, I know. I'm talking. No, no, he's doing that. You know, I, I dare you to do something. I can talk to whoever I want to. Okay, so don't you don't control who I talk to. No, you're right. But we're talking. So I'm I'm listening because you're talking about me. Absolutely. So I'm letting y'all know. I did take some money earlier. and I took some food. We are with. Okay. So if you want to arrest me, hook me up. Hook me up. I just took this donation from somebody. Is that all right? I just panhandled. Okay, I just. Okay. All right, can I get? I'm panhandling. Can I have some money, please? I am now panhandling. All right. So this was given to me. I don't know what's in the envelope, but. A lady, a nice lady just walked up and gave me that. I'm going to send this to the city attorney of Daytona Beach, Florida. And I'm going to dare his ass to arrest me. I dare you, buddy. Arrest me for panhandling. I dare you. The links to the full videos can be found down below. But make sure you go and subscribe to Under Your Oath Civil Rights Investigations so you can get the follow-up to the upcoming video with the city attorney of Daytona Beach. Also, make sure you download my free ebook. The link is also down below so that you can learn your rights. Don't be caught not knowing your rights. With that being said, we the People University, signing off. Thank you.